Hello everybody, this is another quick video on governor's updates that were made in Gathering Storm expansion that, that will come out just this week. So let's take a quick look on Mokshare. The governor you definitely want to choose if you go for religion victory. I always use him in religious games because of his last level ability but we'll talk about it a little bit later if we need to talk about it at all so the basic ability that increases the religious pressure to adjacent cities is remains the same and very strong ability in early game you can you should definitely put moksha in one of your border cities to try to start converting nearby cities just with the pressure not spending a lot of charges so it's very useful then level one grand inquisitor plus 10 religious strength in theological combats in tiles of this city it remains the same good and strong ability if you need to defend uh, unfortunately it's not offensive but defensive wise it's very strong and sometimes i actually never was in situation where I was just fighting for the last city of my religion but if you get in this situation this promotion will definitely help you to defend and re-establish your face in your empire so divine architect 100% trashy and crappy promotion was removed because plus 20% production toward holy side buildings is good but it can be appended to one maximum two cities just because of time you need to build one temple then remove moksha then build another temple or if you go for third level buildings like wats or mosques or something usually of course you can try to build them but I usually buy them with face if it's necessary just because actually buying uh, these buildings with face is not worth it just because investment will not return but if these buildings have some special abilities like extra charge in mosques or extra food or extra housing you can spend phase just for getting this extra something for your city or empire so it will be definitely useful for you but production of it is not the case so it was removed and now lane of the hands lane on of hands was moved from level 2 to a level 1 so it means moksha just became stronger and this is defensive ability it's not defensive but you can use it in defense offense if you play like on Pangea map and have a lot of neighbors and you don't need to send your delegations of religious units uh, for half of the map so you can heal quickly and then return them in combat so these two defensive promotions were a great combo but now it was they were split it interesting move and they became level 1 but you still need 2 points to get them and what is level 2? level 2 is citadel of god so they moved it to here and left only the citadel of god but it became stronger so city ignores religion pressure it's okay it stays the same but now you get 20% of production returned with face when you finish buildings in the city so this really can be strong uh, I don't know if it applies to wonders <laughs> I, I guess no but it still can apply to wonders and even just usual buildings it's free face very very good and in late game 25% can be really a lot so good promotion and you need to get it anyway to get to the sweetie level 3 promotions which Moksha now 
be the competitive to other governors even uh, without if we even if you're not going for religious victory patron saint uh, extra promotion for apostles was exchanged for extra promotions for apostles and warrior monks so this ability just became stronger and divine architect really strong stuff oh guys allow city to purchase districts with faith so in late game you can now combine reina and moksha and purchase districts with faith and gold and its ability for late game if you have it you really can uh, build your new cities r fast because you can if you get ancestral hall so you put a city you get instantly a builder there so you put governor purchase one district purchase second district and uh, another thing in late game when you go for religion victory you usually the moksha is just sitting in a city and doing nothing because sometimes you buy the two promotion apostles but mainly he just sitting and doing nothing and now he can be used uh, he can be moved across empire uh, for purchasing districts with extra face that you can have especially if you play white and you have a lot of face just tons of it so this extra face now can be spent not only for great people but for building districts and I suppose it applies to spaceport districts and it will be interesting to see if it applies to canal and dam districts because if it applies to canal cities uh, some civilizations now can be really more interesting to play with for, for example the so-called weak Norway which have a special building for generating a surface and building quick canals with face with the help of moksha can be very interesting strategy so overall i can say moksha very now is much more stronger and he now can be applied for not for only religious game but any other types of games because now uh, you can use if you establish your religion you can move moksha try to defend it if you not go offensive with it just to defend and purchase district with extra face so now playing uh, any types of games for any victories with and having religion is more beneficial and I think not only because of the moksha promotions but overall uh, game designs move towards uh, I don't know how to say splitting directions of players interest in the game just to not uh, let him focus on something one and break the game this way so overall I am very happy that Moksha is now so strong because uh, recently I understand that I like to go for religious victories it's uh, fun it's uh, more difficult than other types of the game but actually is these types of the game are going pretty fast if you do everything right so thank you for watching i hope you like this video as i do like moksha thank you everybody bye bye